Journey with us into this magical land where every story is a portal to a place where the ordinary meets the extraordinary. Welcome to the Chronicles of Enchantment. Let the tale begin. Adventures in the Enchanted Hamlet Chapter 1 The Whispering Legend In the heart of a village, where the hum of ordinary life blended with the mystical murmurings of an enchanted forest, Rhea and her chatterbox companion, Whisk, caught wind of a haunting melody, the legend of a lost fairy. The villagers spoke of a guardian of magic, trapped in a hidden hamlet beyond arching bridges and veiled in riddles. The duo, captivated by the mystery, embarked on a journey that would weave them into the very fabric of the legend. As they ventured into the mystical forest, the ancient trees seemed to lean in, whispering tales of old. The legend echoed in every rustle of leaves and the dappled sunlight filtering through the dense canopy. Rhea felt the gentle caress of magic in the air, a sign that they were on the right path following the ethereal trail of the elusive Hamlet. The legend's narrative unfolded like a map, guiding them through thickets and over babbling brooks. Every step resonated with the enchantment of the tale, pulling them deeper into the heart of the enchanted realm. Whisk, with his perceptive nature, could sense the convergence of destinies, there's intertwined with the threads of the ancient legend. As they journeyed, the forest seemed to respond to Rhea's presence, revealing hidden clearings adorned with luminescent flowers and creatures that whispered gratitude for their quest. The legend, once a distant melody, became a vibrant symphony resonating in harmony with their footsteps. Unbeknownst to Rhea and Whisk, they had become characters in the living legend, walking the same path as the fabled fairy they sought. In this tapestry of whispers and wonder, the first chapter of their adventure unfolded, setting the stage for the challenges and revelations that awaited them in the magical realms beyond. Chapter 2 the Arched Bridges of Destiny The forest thinned, revealing a mesmerizing sight, three arched bridges spanning a crystal-clear stream. Each bridge beckoned, a gateway to destinies intertwined with the fabric of the legend. Rhea and Whisk, standing at the crossroads, felt the weight of their choices echoing through the enchanted realm. The legend whispered guidance, its essence woven into the very structure of the bridges. Rhea, with a furrowed brow, studied the details, symbols etched into the stone, patterns that mirrored those on the ancient amulet that had sparked their quest. Whisk, his keen senses attuned to the magical currents, nudged Rhea toward the bridge that resonated with a familiar hum. As they traversed the bridges, the air shimmered with energy. The choices they made rippled through the forest, creating a delicate dance of light and shadows. Unseen forces seemed to guide them, validating their decisions and leading them further into the heart of the enchanted realm. With each bridge crossed, the legend's magic deepened, forging an unspoken contract between the adventurers and the ancient tale. The paths they chose were not merely physical but metaphysical, a dance with destiny that mirrored the intricate steps of the legendary fairy's own journey. As they emerged on the other side, the forest embraced them with an approving rustle of leaves. The enchanted hamlet lay ahead, its secrets guarded by the convergence of choices made at the arched bridges. Rhea and Whisk, now more than mere spectators, were integral players in the unfolding legend, 
their every step echoing through the tapestry of destiny they wove with each bridge crossed. Chapter 3 Riddles of the Whispering Grove The Whispering Grove unfolded before Rhea and whisked like a living puzzle. Ancient trees stood sentinel, their branches intertwined like the intricate braids of a story waiting to be unraveled. The legend hinted at riddles hidden within the rustling leaves, challenges that would reveal the fairy's plight and the magic bound to the hamlet. Rhea and Whisk approached the first gnarled tree, its bark adorned with mysterious glyphs. As they touched the etchings, the air around them buzzed with an anticipatory energy. The legend's magic manifested in the form of riddles, their answers embedded in the tales of the enchanted hamlet. The duo delved into the challenges, deciphering the ancient language of the grove. Whisk's clever insights complemented Rhea's analytical mind, and together, they unveiled the secrets hidden within the foliage. With each solved riddle, the whispering grove responded with a symphony of approval, a melodic expression of gratitude from the mystical realm. The legend, once veiled in whispers and shadows, now stood before them as a tangible presence, its essence bound to the heartwood of the ancient trees. Rhea and Whisk felt a deep connection to the grove, their understanding of the legend evolving with every puzzle solved. As the last riddle unraveled, the air in the whispering grove shimmered with a soft glow. The path ahead, illuminated by the magic they had unlocked, beckoned them deeper into the heart of the hamlet. The legend, now a collaborative creation, resonated in the rustle of leaves and the intertwined branches, guiding Rhea and Whisk toward the climax of their enchanted quest. Chapter 4 The Illuminated Hamlet With the riddles of the Whispering Grove conquered, Rhea and Whisk stepped into the heart of the enchanted hamlet, a place where time seemed to dance to the rhythm of the legend. The air was charged with ancient magic, and every step resonated with the accumulated stories of the fairy they sought. The hamlet revealed itself like a dreamscape, cobblestone pathways winding through ethereal gardens, houses with roofs that seemed to touch the sky, and shimmering pools reflecting the echoes of past enchantments. Rhea and Whisk moved forward with a sense of awe, aware that the climax of their journey lay just beyond the veil of the next revelation. As they wandered through the luminous hamlet, the legend responded to their presence, unraveling in a series of visual symphonies. Murals on the walls depicted scenes from the fairy's life, each stroke of the brush a testament to the interconnected destinies of all who had walked this mystical path. The duo reached the heart of the hamlet, where an ancient tree stood, the living embodiment of the legend itself. Its branches reached toward the heavens, cradling a radiant crystal that pulsed with the heartbeat of the tale. Rhea and Whisk understood that the culmination of their quest awaited them within the embrace of this magical guardian. As they approached the crystal, the legend whispered its final verses. The fairy, trapped in the crystal for eons, awaited release. Rhea, guided by the lessons learned throughout their journey, placed a hand on the crystal and the ancient magic responded to her touch. The crystal shattered, releasing a burst of radiant energy that wove through the hamlet, rejuvenating every corner with the magic of freedom. The fairy emerged, her luminous wings unfolding like a long-awaited embrace. The legend, once confined to whispers and riddles, now soared through the air, 
grateful for the champions who had woven its essence into a living, breathing reality. Rhea and Whisk, having become integral threads in the tapestry of the legend, watched as the hamlet celebrated its liberation. The enchanted realm echoed with the harmonious notes of a tale well told, its magic now an inseparable part of Rhea and Whisk's own destinies. And as the final chapter closed, the Whispering Grove whispered its gratitude, its ancient trees bearing witness to the legacy of a legend brought to life. Let your dreams be touched by the Chronicles of Enchantment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.